Let's talk about a coach maybe getting himself off the hot seat. Maybe. West Virginia, 23. Oklahoma, 20. And Neil Brown, let's look at these stats, ran nearly 20 more plays, ran 18 more plays than Oklahoma. Um, Oklahoma had zero turnovers. West Virginia had two. Oklahoma did outgain them by 20 yards, but West Virginia had more first downs. Um, this was interesting because neither team was great. Uh, Oklahoma had 12 tackles for loss in this game. They had two sacks, two quarterback hurries, and yet you go over and you pull up the actual numbers, and West Virginia just found a way to get it done. Scored 10 fourth quarter points, got the W. Uh, just uh, un- unbelievable to see this. West Virginia, uh, JT Daniels, of course, goes out. He was 7 of 12 for 65 yards with a pick, and they bring in the kid, Green who ran the ball 14 times for 119 yards and two touchdowns, and he passed the ball 12 out of 22 for 138 yards and one touchdown. Dylan Gabriel somehow was shut down in this game. West Virginia's defense is not good, but I'm telling you, there is something to home field advantage this year. Morgantown is legit. Those fans, while it wasn't like a huge mass, it wasn't sold out, they were still loud. They were still there. They still caused a lot of havoc. Uh, Dylan Gabriel, 17 out of 28, 190 yards. Eric Gray, 25 carries for 211 yards rushing, two touchdowns here. They they were able to control the game, really, on the ground. But I, I kept turning over to this one and watching, and it just, like, it felt like Oklahoma should have been dominating the game, and yet West Virginia found a way to make enough plays to to win this thing. Like it's still, it's still a little bit mind blowing when you look at at how this thing actually went down, but Oklahoma only scoring twenty points on that West Virginia defense was shocking, to say the least, just absolutely shocking. Um, you had a chance, Oklahoma did, late, and and they couldn't capitalize on it. And West Virginia gets the ball with 624 left and goes on a 15-play, 65-yard drive that takes off the full, you know, clock amount, and they kick a field goal to win the game. I mean, this was this was crazy. Absolutely crazy. The Big 12 is nuts this year. Absolutely nuts. Uh, so Oklahoma is now 5-5. Five and five. West Virginia, we don't even have to talk about their record, but uh, does a win like this, even though it is a down Oklahoma, does this maybe, does it help maybe keep Neil Brown around one more year? Like, are the fans okay with this? Like, I, I understand the buyout, but there was still a lot of talk about maybe maybe he was going to be gone. Um, I don't know. This was a weird one. This was this was very interesting to me, uh, just watching how it all, how it all went down. Uh, but yeah, 12 tackles for loss for Oklahoma's defense was surprising considering how much they actually gave up in the ballgame. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.